Hi, welcome to today's video. We are going to talk about how to use AI in your digital products business. Digital products have become more and more popular in the recent years and that is one of the main reasons why the competition became very fierce. To beat this competition, you have to stay on top of your game and consistently create new products or you have to market your existing ones very efficiently. There are some tools out there that can help you streamline this digital product creation process and you can make sure that the products that you will create are in demand. This is where tools like Everbee, ChatGPT and Midjourney come into the play. I'm going to show you step by step how to create digital products with the help of these tools that are in demand and have a higher chance of ranking on Etsy, thus making you more sales, more profit, more revenue and things like that. We are going to cover each of these tools in detail, how I use it to create digital products with these tools and I'm going to give you some actionable steps and tips and tricks that you can use in your own digital products business. But before we dive in, I just would like to tell you that my course Passive Income with Printables is now now opening its doors again and because you are a loyal follower to me here on YouTube I would like to offer you a 30% discount use the code YouTube and you will get your 30% off my course passive income with printables here we cover everything from researching and selecting the correct niche creating the right kinds of visuals for your product listing images the product itself listing images videos everything how to set up your shop, how to optimize your listings. We are going to talk also about the money side of the business and how to scale it. And the best part about this program is that it comes with a three month support with weekly Zoom calls. There is no other program out there that will offer support like this because in those weekly calls I answer all of your questions, give you tips how to create listings, which niche good to go into and things like that. If you need and if you want that kind of support in your digital products business, click the link down in the description and in the first pinned comment and join me in the course with the 30% discount using the code YouTube. But now let's talk about how to use artificial intelligence in your digital products business, if you'd like to speed up the process of research, generating ideas and creating the products themselves, then keep on watching and let's dive in. And keep out for my next video in which I'm going to share with you quite a few digital product ideas that you can outsource to artificial intelligence. So subscribe to the channel so you will not miss that video either and you will get notified if you hit the notification bell. The first step in creating digital products with the help of artificial intelligence is of course finding some niches and some product ideas that are very in demand on Etsy right now. We are going to start with uh, ChatGPT, we are going to generate a few ideas after which we are going to take a look on Etsy at these niches and we are going to see the potential in them. So let's hop over to my computer and I will show you how to do it. In ChatGPT I started a new chat and I added the prompt create a list with Etsy digital product ideas. ChatGPT came up with these results and we are going to read through them and select a few that we will go and do research on on Etsy. We will see which ones are the most viable and maybe the most profitable niches to get into. We have to keep in mind that we are looking for products that can be created with the help of AI, so something that is not very complicated. Now let's see the list that ChatGPT came up with and let's analyze each idea and uh, if it is possible and profitable for us to create these kinds of products with the help of AI. The first thing on this list is printable art and I definitely think that we can create something uh, for this niche. I think that we can create something in this niche for selling on Etsy but we have to keep in mind that printable wall art and printable posters is a saturated niche on Etsy. But if you have a really good and a really unique idea, you can try these and list them on Etsy. But we will take a look in just a second on Etsy and analyze it if, to see if it is really profitable and worth it for us to go on this route. The next one is digital invitations and I see some fantasy in this one. But again, there are some limitations that I am going to show you later on here. It is a really good niche, but keep in mind that you will have to use some additional softwares to create these. Social media templates and ebook templates are the next ones on this list and well these are really popular niches but there is a big caveat it cannot be created with AI. Maybe you can create a few very basic and very sim simple things in these 
categories, but um, I would not do this with AI. Now, the next idea on this list are stock photos. And I'm really excited about this idea because not necessarily for Etsy, but for some other stock websites as well. There are some niches for stock photos that are high in demand and can give you a really good profit. But there are some good stock photos on Etsy as well. The next idea on this list are digital planners and I would skip AI for this because for a digital planner to be really good and work really well, it needs internal links and AI just cannot do that for us. Printable stickers, a really good one. It is in demand and lots of people use digital stickers, but it takes a longer time to create them and you need some special formatting as well. The next two items here are fonts and website templates. I would not go into these niches with the help of AI. I just simply don't know any AI tool that can help with the creation of these. Printable coloring pages is an interesting idea, but we have to explore more on that. I just opened up Etsy on my computer. I selected the digital invitations niche to explore further on Etsy. I just opened up an Etsy page on my computer and I typed in digital invitations. Now, let's take a look. What do we have here? And uh, let's analyze this niche. We have a total of almost half a million results here, as you can see. As a first step, I am going to niche even more down with digital invitations and let's do baby shower digital invitations. Okay, 80,000 results, not that bad. It is a little bit more than I would prefer, but let's see what can we come up with here. There are some really cute ones. For baby showers, I really like these kinds of neutral ones. And of course, the animals are always cute. Some gender neutral ones. Of course, you can niche even further down and select specific genders. Or you can go totally gender neutral, it is up to you. You would have to see which ones are more in demand. And I have a general idea of what I would like to go for. But let's see first the analytics for this niche. Baby shower digital invitations. As we can see, this item right here is generating more than 1,500 euros each month. Let me put that to dollars so people from the US can see it with the dollars as well. So $1,600 each month just from this one set for baby showers. And let's see another simple one. This one made almost 900. Let's check it out. This is a tool called Everbee. It is really handy for research and SEO research on Etsy for digital products, physical product, print on demand, everything. And if you would like to check it out, you can try it for free. Use the link in the description down below or in the first pinned comment. I would really appreciate if you would use my link for this. Here are the keywords that this listing uses and the volume for each one. As you can see, digital paper is a really good one and it is trending upwards at the moment. Shower invitations are of course higher at the beginning of the year and less of them in the end of the year. Watercolor design is a really good keyword in this case. Puda Bear, this is one of the design elements. I would stay clear of anything Disney or anything Pixar because there can be serious repercussions if you are not careful with the copyrighted terms. And Virtual Digital, as you can see this one, it is a really good keyword for digital invitations and things like that. The visibility score is really good, it's 100 and the review ratio is amazing at more than 10%. And it made $900 approximately in the last month, which is a really good amount. But let's see this listing in detail. The images are really nice. They have a video, let's check that one out. And it's showing you how to edit it. Let's see what are they using. They're using template for editing. And they have some other cute images as well. This is a classic example of cross-promoting your items and your different designs with images. Let's see this set that is making the most in this this is not just one invitation, but it is a bundle. But anyways, let's see their keywords. As you can see, gender neutral, it's a really good keyword. It is their highest ranking keyword. Great visibility score and of course, great revenue. Let's check it out on Etsy. This is really cute with the bear and everything. Now let's head over to Midjourney and create some amazing digital invitation templates. Now, 
keep in mind your customers will want these to be editable so you will have to use a software like Canva. You can use that for free and I'm going to show you step by step how to make your digital invitations editable by your end customers. So stick around for that till the end. To try out Mid Journey, it is for free. But if you'd like to use the images that you will create with a commercial purpose, aka you want to sell them, you will have to purchase their plan. It is not that expensive for a month and I really love the results that it gives me. To create beautiful images with Mid Journey, you will have to have a Discord account that is completely free to create and you will connect your Mid Journey app to your Discord. I give Mid Journey the prompt baby shower invitation template with forest animals. I saw that these are very popular designs, so let's see what Mid Journey comes up with. And I created several variations of this. Mid Journey is very fast, it gives you results under one minute. Now, I think these turned out really cute, I really love them. Now, let's see them up close a little bit. Let's select a few that we would like to create variations out of. These are all very cute. I really like this one. I also gave it the prompt baby shower invitation template with realistic forest animals and baby shower invitation template with watercolor forest animals. And these are the results for that. As you can see, they turned out amazing and they are very usable. They just need to be retouched a little bit. These are the watercolor style ones. My favorite is this one, I think, and I'm going to create a few variations out of it. So to do that, we are going to hit this V1. This one means variation one and this means upscale. So I'm going to create a few variations out of that. And these are the results for the variations. I think I'm going to go with this one. This is the cutest one in my opinion. And now I'm going to hit upscale for that one. So I'm going to hit U2. Now Mid Journey upscaled it. This means that it made it bigger. And now what I'm going to also do is this will make the file bigger in size. This one is 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels and the better upscale version will be 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. And here is our finished invitations. Now I'm going to download this. You can just simply do that by right click, save image and save it on your computer. Now to remove the text I'm going to use Photoshop because that is handy for me but you can use some Photoshop alternatives as well. I just quickly opened the image in Photoshop, hit on the spot healing brush tool, I will set the size of my brush to a bigger size and I'm going to simply remove these text elements from right here. For this part I'm going to use a smaller brush and voila we have our image. Now what I will also do in Photoshop, because it will make my job easier and faster in Canva, I'm also going to crop the image to just only have this right here, the invitation itself. You can do this in any Photoshop alternative, you do not need Photoshop to do this. Now I just quickly hit save and let's create a custom design in Canva, it will be a 5x7 custom size, as you can see it's right here in the presets for me and I'm going to drop this in the uploads. I just uploaded it to Canva and now I'm going to make it fit the page like that. And now with this text tool you can just add your heading, all the details and so on. You can play with the fonts, colors, everything. For quick demonstration purposes I only put a few details on here but you can put as many text files here as you would like. Now to share this on Etsy you would just hit share template link and give that to your customers on Etsy so that they can put their own details on this invitation. And after you are done with your product and you are ready to list it on Etsy, what I would do is that I would go back to those inspiration products and take a look at their best keywords and the keywords that I think will make me the best and by clicking on those keywords you are going to copy them and you can go straight back into your Etsy brand new listing and copy those by hitting paste or control V on your computer. That is the fastest way that I found to put keywords onto your Etsy listing. When it comes to the description, you can use ChatGPT to generate the beginning of your description. Of course you have to have some details there like 
the size, the resolution, what are they getting exactly and things like that. But at the beginning, the first few phrases of your description can be outsourced to ChatGPT as well. I quickly will show you how I do the prompts for ChatGPT for these kinds of descriptions. I added the prompt, create an Etsy product description for a digital baby shower invitations, keywords to include, neutral baby shower, baby shower invitation. And this is what ChatGPT came up with. Of course, this is not perfect, but you will have to go in and take a look at the text structure and if ChatGPT used the keywords in the correct way. But if you think that this is okay to use, then you can just copy paste it onto Etsy. What I would do is that I would go into it, analyze each sentence and check the keyword placements. I would just skip the first paragraph the second and the third ones are really good and I would uh, really like to use that. Maybe I would put my twist on those words, but I like that. Okay, that is the step-by-step -step how to use artificial intelligence to create digital products that sell and are on demand on Etsy at the moment. I used three tools. I used ChatGPT to generate the ideas. Then I used Everbee to validate my idea and to look for profitable products exam for examples and for inspiration. And then I used Midjourney, Canva and Photoshop in my case, but you might be able to skip that to create the product itself. And then again, ChatGPT to create the description and Everbee to find the best tags. So that is the whole process of creating digital products with artificial intelligence. Don't forget that my course Passive Income with Printables is open for enrollment for only a limited time. After that, I don't know when I will open it again. And use the code YouTube to get 30% off the price. I will see you in the course. But first, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online, making digital products and money on Etsy. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!